new hair. Look, I've been to Lucinda Ellery and had a new interlace system. Hello, gorgeous. How are you doing? Welcome to Cutting the Caboose. And it's actually been about two weeks since I've recorded one of these going to the gym ones because last week I didn't record one. I didn't actually go to the gym and record last week because I was doing such a short workout because I'm still healing after surgery. But as we can see, the compression sleeves are now off. Not fully off. I'm still wearing them in bed and I'm wearing them around the house. But I'm just taking them off a little bit just to keep an eye on things, see how things are looking. And they're looking good. I mean, I don't know if you want to a quick look at some of my scars right there. I don't know if you can see any of that. So let's see, coming up in this show, we've got a little update on the surgery. I don't have a weight loss challenge this week. This is purely, this is a selfish one. I'm just going to be doing me stuff and channel stuff just because I haven't prepared anything. I'm really sorry. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's an update on, on the things, on where we're at. So we are one week away from launching the new channel. I have some surgery changes to talk about. And um, what else is there? Other things? I can't remember. Other things? Oh, I don't know. I'll remember. I'm just making that up as I go along. But first of all, let's talk about the surgery update. So you just saw my arm. The healing is going really well. But, and it's quite a big but, I have a huge serotoma on my abdomen. It's very common, it happens. I'm going to record a little video of it and overlay it here. Hey, so this is a quick little snippet of my weary... I can't tell if it's a serotoma or a seroma. I'm not sure exactly what the difference is, but, but watch this. This is just like weird. So, here's, um, here's my new flat belly and my new belly button. It's a little bit crusty because it's healing. And then here's my scar. So watch this. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 Jiggly. I can't tell if that's gross or weird or cool or all of the above. It's not dangerous. I've spoken to the surgeon. It just needs to be drained. It's just fluid that gathers after a pretty, a pretty extensive surgery, you know. But that's so cool. <laughs> anyway, I'll share. Basically, my belly is like a big water bottle and it's huge. It's like squishy, squishy side to side. It's insane. So I've pinged my surgeon and he said, oh, that, that's perfectly normal. If you, you can get it drained if you want, but it will eventually go away. But I also read about encapsulation and where, you know, it can like remain. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to have it drained. And that may become a video. It might not. I don't know. I'm not sure if you're allowed to show needles and stuff on, um, on YouTube. So it probably gets striked or something because, you know, YouTube. So, um, yeah, so that's happening. And it's a little uncomfortable, I'll be honest with you. My, I'm not seeing the full result because I'm quite swollen on my belly because of all this fluid that's gathered. I think it's some liposuction fluid, some old blood, you know, it's just bits of stuff gathered in there. So there's that. Then, the next thing. Now, I've said that I'm booked in for surgery on July the 5th for my inner leg lift. Okay, but, and here's the thing. I say, and here's the thing a lot. And here's the thing. I've since changed my mind on a Brazilian butt lift. Now I've said that I was going for implants over a butt lift because being a post-bariatric patient, I was worried that my weight would continue to fluctuate, that it would cause problems with the, with the, the butt lift. I've reached out to lots of people, surgeons, all sorts, and apparently my fears are unfounded or ungrounded. There's no, it's fine. They understand why I might think that, and that is the type of, you know, that, that was a concern some time ago. But ha as my weight is now slowly going down, not yo-yoing, it's perfectly stable, then everything is fine. And so I'm clear to have a Brazilian butt lift. The thing is, the Brazilian butt lift isn't actually a butt lift at all. It's liposuction. It's actually body sculpting. A butt lift is a separate procedure, which I'm also going to have. And then to add to the complication, I need to use body fat, or the surgeon will need to use body fat in order to reshape my bum with the Brazilian part, the sculpting part. And so the current thinking is I may want to have this done before I have my inner leg revision, or maybe even at the same time, which goes against what I think because inner leg, inner leg revisions are the most are the ones which are most likely to have complications and so I'd rather be closer to the hospital for that. However, it may be best to have all of that done in one procedure. So that's where I'm at. Nothing's booked yet, but I'm still booked in for the leg lift on July the 5th. This all may change like very soon. I'm shortlisting surgeons, I'm getting opinions from four clinics who I've seen before and afters do the most incredible bums. And they kind of not specialize in transgender patients, but they've done a lot of transgender patients and they do some amazing bums. So that's what I'm currently thinking, is possibly a compound procedure, possibly not, but getting that bum done 
And then all I'm doing then is taking out excess fat. The contouring is done. All the remaining work is just nipping and tucking and revision. Which means that for this year, I'm pretty close to being done. Because what's going to happen is once my bum is done and once my legs are, you know, tidied up, then I'm going to leave things for six months. I'm going to heal, train as hard as I can, see what I've got after at that point. Then I'll go for some revision surgery early next year. But I'll be like 90% of the way there at that point. It's so exciting. Um, okay, so I'm nearly at the gym, as you know. As you probably know, because you've seen this trip many times on video. So I shall pick up where I left off. And I want to talk about the channel. I want to talk about an interview video I've just done with a weight loss therapist. Fascinating. Right then, heading into the gym. Time for a cool transition. Or possibly just the words cool transition. It depends. <laughs> And we're back. Hello. The uh, gym is done. Oh, it's killing me. It's killing me having to go so gentle. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Just a bit of walking. Just a bit of legs. Can't move anything much. Gently, gently. I want to be back going, ah, full lifting the tin. But I cannot. <laughs> I've got to resign myself that, you know, while I'm going through all this surgery, my training is going to be hit and miss. You know, it's going to be just do what I can. And the thing is, I'm off to California in a couple of weeks. Then when I come back, I'm having my bum or legs or whatever done. So I'm not going to be able to train for another month. So I'm probably not going to be training properly until August. Oh, anywho, that's fine. Hair. Um, okay, speaking of hair, new hair, look! I've been to Lucinda Ellery and had a new interlace system. It's so good. Got a separate video, either out already or coming out soon about this. It's amazing. So that's happened. That's made me very happy. And uh, yeah, so that's good. Uh, new channel launching a week, well, on Saturday. Depends when you watch this. I think this will probably go out on the Wednesday. So there's a new channel coming on Saturday. Almost ready. I'm actually hoping to do a little sneak peek teaser on the live stream tonight, which will have happened a couple of days ago by the time you watch this. So this will be old news by then. Yeah, like I say, I've got that weight loss therapist interview, which is fascinating. Really, really, really interesting. So that's, that's airing soon. I've got some more crappy gadgets to review and things. I'm also going to do some crap exercise gadgets. I'm going to bring those into the mix too for cutting the caboose. They're going to be fun to do. Why is it raining? I mean, technically I know the science behind why it's raining, but it's like summer. Come on. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, okay, well, I can't actually think of anything else I need to add in this show. No weight loss challenge this week because um, I haven't written one. I've been so busy with the new channel and everything. Although that's settling down now. I've got so much new content going out for that. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry there's not much value for you in this one, which I know goes against everything I say about adding in the value for the viewer. This one is a very selfish one, I'm so sorry. But more will come. So there we are. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next show. Bye-bye. Love you. Mwah.